Oh yeah, it auto it auto starts now. Nice. Cool. I'm sitting there hovering my finger over the start button, but it auto starts when the game starts. Cool. You like Hot Fuzz? The movie where the um the town folk are like, for the greater good. Like I can just picture in my head a bunch of Twitch streamers all standing together about to do something terrible. And they're just chanting for the content. For the content. For the content. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that my donation distracted you on the jewel heist. Sorry about that. Did Hopefully it? Hopefully Lady RNG is happy with you today and can make up for it. Get in, baby. She's like, I'm calling the police. Goes to leave and then just immediately comes back. Wait, oh my god. Genius level idea. You release a movie, everyone watches it. Then you release another movie on the back of your first movie. You don't change the name, but you advertise it as two movies or whatever, right? So it, it'll still count to the sales of the first movie. And then you get to the top of the all time ticket sales or whatever for the movie. You beat Endgame and Avatar and shit. You just keep tag tagging on more and more content until it's eventually like 10 hours of content for one ticket. Literal fucking genius right there. Rip Cam, oh my god, El Gato. Dude, it's like a meme at this point. Food is for losers, then consider me a loser. You know how, you know how perfect the timing of that has to be? To hit that? The buggy is scripted though. It is scripted to be there, but not scripted to go that exact speed and get you. These orange tankers require 21 shots to explode, and of course you are meant to hold off on firing the last shot until the enemies are within range. I fired too quickly and therefore no one died. I f I completely fucked up. I'm blaming this on Source for distracting me with his nonsense. Source's fault. Are you kidding me? Dude. Not source as well, it's hundred percent my fault. I'm lying. And the truth shall set you free. Yeah, I, I would never want to stream on YouTube, dude. It's just so much worse, but whatever. YouTube commenters, you guys are fine. But some of those people who were watching the, the premiere yesterday of my PB not not the brightest tools. Wait. I almost said not the brightest tools in the shed. Matt, I think you are being a little bit hypocritical there. <laughs> I dare you to put not the brightest tool in the shed in a merch shirt slash hoodie. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Is there like a random rake or something that's glowing? <laughs> okay, it's not fucking sucks. Mm, mm. I can't believe I just did that. Cleaning up the bureau is my most hated mission. Oh! Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Fascinating. So, I think he was going to do the god bug, but. Seeing him about to do that, I started to get in the van, and I think because I was in his spot in the seat, it snapped him back to reality, making him continue his animation, but he was in the wrong spot for that. Fascinating. They, they spawn, why'd they spawn? Why'd they spawn, chat? And they're stuck up there. They spawned and despawned, what the fuck? That's what's known as a bug, ladies and gentlemen. And now I've got this phone call, and I can't get up here. That is a lot of time loss. What is my routine to prepare for a 10 hour stream? I wake up, and then I go, oh my god, I feel too terrible to do a 10 hour stream. It'd be insane to do a 10 hour stream right now. 
and then I start my stream. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about I did it again. Take these glasses. I completely wrecked that woman. I did it again. What's the Australian outback like to live in? Considering I have never lived in it, I think I can say pretty confidently that's pretty good. You're kidding. Wasn't he dead though? Wasn't wasn't he dead? I went to get in, and I just see the guy coming at me, like, I'm just like, what the fuck? I think I got a decent shot of Miranda back there. So we split what you get for the photo, 50-50, right? All right, homie. Oh, oh, what was that? Hey, clip, 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 clip. What the fuck was any of that? I've got the cops on me now, what the fuck? Okay, so what happened there was I got a completely different dialogue from normal. The mission ended faster, but it gave me the cops. Normally the mission ending loses you the cops if you happen to have them on you. Crap. Surely it has to end like a, a second from now. Are you kidding me, dude? This is the longest and then it ends, of course. And my, my cab despawned. That's over there. Well, that was interesting. It's going to be about a minute and a half. Um, this is bad enough that I'm probably justified the reset. Viper, do they ever find the chopper? Yes, they find the chopper and they all live happily ever after. That's how this ends. Any tips on how to act like a human? Be a complete dick to everyone. That does seem to be the standard response of most people towards most other people. It's, it was funny. Uh, so I have this thing called vidIQ Prestige, where it recommends me videos that I should get views from, as in like if I use the same tags and stuff. The video it recommended was like, funniest GTA 5 clips, and so I'm on stream, and uh, my intention was to dunk on the, the video. I'm like, oh yeah, let's see what kind of clips these people are using. Like I'm like, I'm sure these are just some garbage that a person has picked up off uh off red or something and uh it was one of your clips and i watched it and it was really funny <laughs> i was like and i felt really embarrassed because i was just like oh shit <laughs> like, I, like especially that clip with the kid Let me explain. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Basically, the buttons that I press to look behind me to prevent the spawn of the enemies puts me dangerously close to fat fingering F. In this case, I did fat finger it, so I jumped out my car. I'm so upset right now, dude. How many people are there in Australia? At least one. Just go from Hungry Jacks, it was delicious. Wow, one's dead. Cool. Nice. It happens one in a hundred runs. It's super rare, but uh, it does happen. It's just RNG. There's nothing you can really do. Just go from Hungry Jacks. It was delicious. So I have half HP. One shot.
His gun is even pointed upwards. Look at that. His gun is upwards. It isn't even aiming forward. It still hits me. He has to hit every shot for me to die here. Hell yeah. There's a door in the way here. And glass. Okay. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six perfect shots in perfect succession. I've got this thing stuck in my head. It's a scene from One Punch Man. It's in the, um, the comic part, like way ahead in the series. It's not a spoiler, but it's so funny. King in the show is this guy who everyone believes is the strongest fighter in the world. But actually, he has no powers at all. He just happened to be in the right place at the right time to take credit for a bunch of other deeds done by usually Saitama, the main character. So um, at every turn, they're like, oh, King, you will save us. And King's like, oh, shit, I can't do anything. But he's just really, really lucky. The joke is when you make a character and you put all stats into luck, and that's King. Um, and there's a scene where Tomic Samurai, he's meant to be like the fifth strongest hero. He is in a bar with King. And Atomic Samurai is like, I want to fight you. Come outside. And King's like, oh, no, we don't, I don't think we need to fight. And Atomic Samurai says, no, 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 we need to fight. Come on outside. And um, King's freaking out, like, because he's just a normal dude. He's an otaku or whatever. No, it's, what, what's it called? The, the um, niece or whatever. The, the guy who just sits at home and plays video games all day. Uh, he, he eventually talks his way out of uh, um, fighting Atomic Samurai. And he's walking off. And Atomic Samurai is like, wait, before you leave... Um, I've always had the ability to judge a person based on how they swing their sword. So I want you to take this katana and um, cut the apple, cut this apple, and I will judge you. And uh, King's like, oh, you know, I'm just an amateur. I'm just an no, 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 no. Please, please, King. I respect you a lot. Um, please cut this apple. And so King kneels down and he holds the katana to his side for a minute, for two minutes, for three minutes. And you hear internally in King's mind, he's like, I can't draw the sword. I can't even draw the sword. Even holding it like this is the most painful thing. I'm just going to stand up and walk away and hope he doesn't follow me. And then he leaves. And Atomic Samurai is sta staying there. He's sweating. And inside, he's like, I didn't even see him swing swing the sword. He was so fast that the apple doesn't even realize that it's been cut. <laughs> he, he is on another level. I, I am, I am, he calls himself a novice? Who am I? <laughs> 